Welcome back to Garden Bound. Have you ever wondered how you can combine the best traits of two different plants into one? That's the magic of grafting. Imagine growing a tree that produces multiple varieties of fruit or a plant that's more resilient to diseases and pests. Grafting has been a game changer in horticulture for centuries, allowing gardeners to create hybrid plants that are both unique and robust. The first time I successfully grafted an apple tree, seeing the new shoots thrive was incredibly rewarding. Today, we'll delve into the fascinating science of plant grafting and show you how to create your own hybrid plants. Whether you're a seasoned gardener or just starting out, this guide will equip you with the knowledge and skills to embark on your own grafting journey. Let's dive in and explore the wonderful world of grafting. Now, plant grafting is a horticultural technique that involves joining two plants together so they grow as one. Essentially, it involves taking a piece of one plant, known as the scion, and attaching it to another plant called the rootstock. The scion is typically a young shoot or twig that contains buds, while the rootstock is the base and root system of another plant. This union allows the best traits of both plants to combine, creating a single, more desirable hybrid plant. Grafting is commonly used in fruit tree production, ornamental horticulture, and viticulture to enhance plant performance and resilience. The practice of grafting dates back thousands of years, with evidence of its use found in ancient civilizations such as the Greeks and Romans. Historical texts from as early as 500 BCE describe grafting techniques and their benefits. Over time, grafting methods have been refined and diversified, becoming an integral part of modern horticulture. Today, grafting is widely used in commercial agriculture to produce high-quality fruits and vegetables, as well as in home gardening for creating unique and beautiful plants. The benefits of grafting are numerous and significant. One of the primary advantages is disease resistance. By selecting a rootstock that is resistant to specific soil-borne diseases and pests, the grafted plant inherits this resilience, resulting in a healthier and more robust plant. Additionally, grafting can improve fruit quality. Scions from high-producing, superior-quality fruit trees can be grafted onto vigorous rootstocks, leading to better fruit yield and quality. Grafting also accelerates the growth and maturity of plants, allowing gardeners to enjoy the fruits of their labor sooner. This technique can enable the combination of different plant varieties on a single plant, such as creating a fruit tree that bears multiple types of fruit, adding both aesthetic and practical value to a garden. Understanding the science and benefits of plant grafting opens up a world of possibilities for gardeners looking to innovate and improve their gardens. The science behind grafting is fascinating and hinges on the plant's ability to heal and integrate tissues at a cellular level. At the heart of this process is the vascular cambium, in a layer of actively dividing cells located between the bark and the wood. When two plants are grafted, the vascular cambium of the scion and the rootstock must be closely aligned. Once aligned, these cambial cells begin to divide and form a callous tissue that bridges the graft union, eventually differentiating into new vascular tissue that allows the seamless transport of water, nutrients, and sugars between the scion and rootstock. This integration is crucial for the survival and growth of the grafted plant, ensuring that the scion can receive sustenance from the rootstock and continue its development. Various grafting techniques are employed based on the type of plants and the desired outcome. One common method is the whip and tongue graft, which involves making a slanting cut on both the scion and the rootstock and then joining them together with interlocking tongues, providing a large surface area for cambium contact. The cleft graft is another technique where the rootstock is split and the scion is inserted into the cleft, often used for joining smaller scions to larger rootstocks. Budding, or bud grafting, involves grafting a single bud from the scion onto the rootstock, which is particularly effective for fruit trees and roses. Each technique has its specific applications and advantages, tailored to different plant species and grafting goals. Compatibility between the rootstock and scion is critical for successful grafting. Not all plants can be grafted together. They must be botanically compatible, typically within the same species or closely related species. Compatibility ensures that the grafted tissues can successfully integrate and function as a single plant. Factors influencing compatibility include genetic similarity, growth patterns, and disease resistance. Choosing the right combination of rootstock and scion is essential to achieve the desired traits in the grafted plant, such as enhanced growth, improved disease resistance, or better fruit quality. 
Understanding these scientific principles and techniques allows gardeners to effectively utilize grafting to create robust and productive plants. Preparing for grafting requires careful selection of both the rootstock and scion to ensure a successful union. The rootstock should be chosen for its vigor, disease resistance, and compatibility with the scion. It is essential to select a rootstock that is free of disease and pests as any health issues can jeopardize the grafting process and the resulting plant. Similarly, the scion should be taken from a healthy, productive plant that exhibits the desired traits, such as high fruit quality, robust growth, or specific flower characteristics. Ensuring that both the rootstock and scion are compatible, typically within the same species or closely related species, is crucial for the graft to take. Having the right tools and materials on hand is essential for successful grafting. A sharp grafting knife is indispensable for making clean, precise cuts, which are crucial for good cambial contact. Grafting tape or rubber bands are used to hold the graft union securely in place while it heals. Grafting sealant or wax is applied to the exposed areas to prevent desiccation and protect against pathogens. Additionally, pruning shears are useful for trimming the rootstock and scion to the appropriate size, and labels can help keep track of different grafts, especially when working with multiple varieties. Timing plays a significant role in grafting success, and varies depending on the type of plant. For most deciduous trees and shrubs, late winter to early spring, just before the buds start to swell, is an ideal time for grafting. During this period, the plant is emerging from dormancy, and the sap flow is increasing, which aids in the healing and integration of the graft. For evergreen plants, late spring to early summer is generally preferred, as the active growth phase supports rapid graft union formation. Budding, a type of grafting commonly used for fruit trees and roses, is often performed in late summer when the bark is slipping, meaning it easily separates from the wood, facilitating the insertion of the bud. Understanding the optimal timing for grafting various plants is crucial for achieving robust and successful graft unions. Grafting plants involves a series of meticulous steps to ensure the successful union of the rootstock and scion. Here's a detailed step-by-step -step guide to the grafting process. Step 1. Preparing the rootstock. Begin by selecting a healthy rootstock that is compatible with your scion. Using a sharp grafting knife, make a clean, smooth cut on the rootstock at the desired height. For most grafting methods, such as the whip and tongue or cleft graft, you'll need to create a slanting cut to expose the cambium layer. Ensure that the cut is smooth and precise to maximize the contact area between the rootstock and scion, which is essential for the graft to take successfully. Step 2. Preparing the scion. Choose a scion from a healthy, vigorous plant with the characteristics you want to propagate. The scion should have several buds and be of similar thickness to the rootstock. Using your grafting knife, make a matching slanting cut on the base of the scion. For whip and tongue grafts, a small notch or tongue is cut into both the rootstock and scion to interlock them, increasing the contact surface area and stability of the graft. Step 3. Making the graft. Carefully align the cut surfaces of the rootstock and scion so that their cambium layers, the thin green layer just beneath the bark, are in direct contact. This alignment is critical because the cambium cells must fuse for the graft to succeed. For cleft grafting, insert the scion into the cleft of the rootstock, ensuring the cambium layers match up on at least one side. For whip and tongue grafts, slide the tongue of the scion into the tongue of the rootstock, ensuring a snug fit and maximum cambium contact. Step 4. Securing the graft. Once the scion is in place, Secure the graft union tightly with grafting tape or rubber bands. This helps keep the graft in place and protects it from drying out and external damage. Wrap the tape around the graft multiple times to ensure it is secure, but avoid wrapping too tightly, which could damage the cambium. After securing the graft, apply grafting sealant or wax over the exposed areas to prevent desiccation and protect against pathogens. Step 5. Post-graft care. After completing the graft, provide proper care to ensure the graft heals and the plant thrives. Water the grafted plant thoroughly and maintain consistent moisture in the soil, but avoid overwatering, which can cause root rot. Place the grafted plant in a shaded area to protect it from direct sunlight, which can cause excessive heat and stress. Monitor the graft regularly for signs of success, such as new growth from the scion, and check for any signs of failure, such as drying or discoloration. 
Remove any new shoots that emerge from the rootstock below the graft, as they can divert energy from the scion. Continue to provide regular care, and in a few weeks, you should see the graft begin to grow and flourish. By following these detailed steps, you can successfully graft plants and create hybrids with desirable traits, enhancing your garden with unique and resilient plants. Grafting is a fascinating and rewarding technique that allows gardeners to create hybrid plants with desirable traits such as improved disease resistance, better fruit quality, and faster growth. By understanding the science behind grafting and carefully following the steps for preparing, selecting, and securing your grafts, you can achieve successful unions between rootstock and scion. With proper post-graft care, your new hybrid plants will thrive, bringing enhanced beauty and productivity to your garden. If you found this guide helpful, subscribe to GardenBound for more expert gardening tips and tricks. Don't forget to like this video and share your grafting experiences in the comments below. Happy gardening!